Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it could problem number 974 sub error sums divisible by k. So in this problem, we are given an integer array nums and an integer value k. We need to return the number of non-empty sub array that have the sum divisible by k. Now, how can we solve this problem? We are given this example. Let's look at this example here. So in this example, we know that 4 is not divisible by 5. What about 5? Five? 5 is divisible by 5. What about 0? Zero? 0 is also divisible by 5. And what about minus? So it's not. But what about minus 2 plus minus 3? Well, it is, right? And how do we know that these are divisible by 5? Well, basically by calculating the remainder of these sum, right? So if we take the remainder of 4, that is take the modulo operation of 4 with 5 what do we get we get the remainder 4 right what about when we take the modulo of 5 with respect to 5 of course it's equals to 0 because 5 is divisible by 5 what about 0 it's the same case it's divisible right so since we know that we can find the modulo operator at the remainder uh, helps us identify which is uh, divisible by 5 and which is not now let's look at we'll actually be using prefix remainder here what does prefix remainder means well what's the remainder of 4 it's 4 right so we have the remainder 4 for index 0 what about index 1 well remainder of 5 itself is equals to 0 so we get the remainder of 5 equals to 0 and then we add the remainder 4 to it and the resulting remainder is equals to 4 now what do we have here we initially had a remainder 4 now we again have a remainder 4 what does this imply this implies that um, any sum between um, well the remainder 4 previous one was at this index right and the next remainder we found is at this index so the sub array between index suppose this is i and this is j then the sub array between i plus 1 to j inclusive will be divisible by 5 so this will be divisible by 5 that is the value the remainder will be equal to 0 and that's true because if you look at the value 5 only it's divisible right uh, i plus 1 is equal to 1 um, and j itself is equal to 1 so this sub array is divisible by 5 similarly if we take 5 uh, prefix sum of 4 5 and 0 that is 4 plus 5 plus 0 um, that would still be equals to the previous sum was equals to 4 previous prefix and then the remainder of 0 with 5 is equals to 0 so the remainder here is again equals to uh, 4 so now we have another sub array we found another sub array starting from index i to j and what's the index i where index i here is this index starting from this index so the uh, next sub array is this and we have already found this sub array right so one sub array is five the another sub array we found is um zero but we also know five comma zero this is also another sub array which is divisible by 5 right whose sum is equal uh, divisible by 5 so how can we achieve that well what are we going to do is we are going to use a map so we use a map and we for the remainder 4 how many times did we encounter it well while we f were at index 0 we encountered it once when we moved at index 5 we encountered it the next time right but before updating this value we update our result with the previous value so that is 1 and then we update this value to 2 in the next step what was the remainder we again found the remainder equals to 4 and since we found the remainder 4 so what are we going to do is we are going to add this value 
to our results so 1 plus 2 and then we update this value to be equals to 3 because so far we have encountered 3 sub arrays with remainder of uh, 3 well sub arrays in the sense like it starts from index 0 so that is what we have done here and and what's the result so far so if we look from index 0 1 and 2 for only the first three elements then the result is equals to 3 and the sub arrays are equals to uh, 5 0 and 5 comma 0 right so that is what we needed and we have achieved that and uh, for the first three elements and that is what we'll be doing for the remaining of the results so now that we understand how we could solve this problem let's try to code it so what do we need we need a prefix remainder so let's initialize it to zero first and then we need our result which is initialized to zero we need a map to store the number of the remainders prefix remainders that we encounter so and what do we do is we initialize the values for the map so i is less than k i plus plus so we are only taking for k because uh, this map is for the remainders right and the remainders will range from the value 0 to k minus 1 so suppose for example in case of 5 the what are what would the remainder be 16 minus 16 remainder of 16 is equals to 1 right remainder of uh, 28 is equals to um, 3 so remainder of 29 is equals to 4 remainder of 30 is equals to 0 so it never exceeds uh, 5 so that is why so what we do now is map of index i it's all initialized to 0 and what we are also going to do is we initialize the value of 0 to 1 um, if in case we encountered a sub array which in itself which has the remainder 0 <clears throat> Uh, is from the very first so suppose for example uh, if we have a sub array which has um, the value minus 2 and minus 3 and suppose some other L values here so minus 2 is not divisible by 5 however minus 3 sum of minus 2 plus minus 3 which is equals to minus 5 is divisible right so if you do not update the remainder 0 uh, if it's not equals to 1 that is if it's equals to 0 then our result we add to our result the value 0 and we do not want that we want it to be value 1 right 1 so that is why we uh, initialize the map uh, for index 0 to be 1 so that is what we are going to do here now for each of the values of the nums array we find our prefix remainder so prefix remainder would be called to prefix remainder plus initial prefix remainder plus num modulo of k so what are we doing here is this thing so we take the previous prefix remainder that is a remainder of 4 and then we take the remainder of uh, the current value which which is 5 modulus 5 which is equals to 0 and then we get our new prefix value so that is what we do here but here we are also going to add plus k in order to eliminate any uh, negative values that we might get from this uh, evaluation so plus k would result in a positive value and then we take the modulo again and we update our result to the value of prefix so this number of pre um, 
number of times we have encountered this prefix previously and then we update our prefix prefix remainder by one and then finally we are going to return our result let's run our code great let's submit it so the time complexity here is o of n because we are just doing a linear uh, iteration over the nums array just once and the space complexity is o of k because we are um creating a map of max size equals to k right so that's the final answer